Ranch back here with old Barry and I uh, want to introduce you to half of a uh, couple of great folks we just spent a week with, um, Rob and Jackie, and uh, they hail from uh, Philadelphia and it's actually our second time seeing them. Uh, I met them last year for a couple of days on a quick jaunt and I guess uh, they've been following us for quite a while. Anyway, I want to introduce the gang to Rob and uh, next time we'll get Jackie too. She's just busy packing. It's kind of a last minute deal here and Rob was real cool about wanting to come out with me and do this and uh rob thanks a lot i appreciate it bud thanks for having me man man we had a pretty good week together you know uh we did a little four by four and yeah. we introduced you to a few people we did listen though i want to start at the beginning how long have you known me i know i met you last year but it, you knew me quite a bit before that by uh, the youtube channel videos and probably another year a year prior okay about a year prior yeah Okay, and you guys were always thinking about, uh, don't worry about the noise, you guys were always thinking about something like this, and what, this little town intrigued you last year. I met you for, what was it, one night, right? You spent one night uh, or two? Uh, we, we spent, I think, three nights here. Three nights, three okay. Nights. And, and it intrigued you enough to give us a second chance? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, was absolutely. the second chance better or worse? What? It was way better. <laughs> It was way better, <laughs> way more informative and, and, and very uh, exciting. <laughs> and the weather, <laughs> to, to be perfectly honest about it, the weather too, it sucked. There's no other word for it. We had a cold front for a week. but mm -hmm. So we went out mudding in the truck one day, this, that, the other thing. We had a grand old time, but, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, uh, we're going to be neighbors. <laughs> and that's mm -hmm. the good part about it. But listen, about... <sighs> I know in, in Philly the climate and I learned a lot more about it from you because you're a fireman and frozen hose, this, that. Uh, I've seen what buildings look like from Edmonton in the winter when the fire guys are done with them. I mean, that's that's miserable work. Besides the danger part, that's mm -hmm. just miserable. Yeah, yeah. Is that a big part that made you want to select some place as you retire, you're getting near that age about warm climate being a necessity was oh yeah that's one of the that's one of the variables that contributed to you know the decision to seek out a warmer place you know <laughs> but the winters uh, aside from the job the winters from where from philadelphia they're terrible you know especially if you just don't get used to it Some jackie like was it. jackie was saying though over the last decade or so it's kind of even changed a bit yeah the weather like, yeah it's, it's, it seems like it's getting winters are getting colder and longer and you've been uh, we were discussing a few things also, uh, obviously, over the week together, but just before camera. And I know uh, last night we had a little, we went to meet, uh, just to meet and greet with the uh, attorney, Dr. Brea, and then we had a follow up in plans here. And they went up and uh, with some other folks we relocated a couple of years ago, they got together. And because it's, you know, it's all about information and sharing it. And that's what this community is about. Yeah. But uh the thing is, I, I, I want to, again, I've said this in my writing, but Rob brought up a great point. Uh, it's all information, and I want everybody to really take that, and I stress that, including what old Barry and DR says about it all revolves around your own personal experience. That's all you can help or tell anybody else about. Um, it doesn't mean that that's going to be your experience. So, for example, what might come from our good friends and their experience versus my experience versus the next one down the road versus 10. So don't ever on anything in life, do not ever get hung up too much on what other people's opinions or experiences are because it's their their mathematics it's their personalities that led them down to receive those experiences to begin with and uh I, I, you know rob was mentioning that to me and um does that hold true like when you're when you see the way i describe things versus some of the people we've relocated you're getting um three four different ways to look at something right right absolutely it's always beneficial to look at things from another point of view not just went one-sided on everything and that whether it be the way you see things or you can consider when someone else's point of view also mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. so. you think uh you know okay we spent a little bit more in a regular excursion together because your holiday time but do you think after you're done with us and all the people we introduce you to and all that after an excursion you have enough information that uh, real real information that you can make an informed yeah. decision absolutely absolutely the information that you guys provide, I don't know how much uh, someone could pay for something like that or how soon someone could acquire that information uh, in, in a reasonable time. 
you know, to be beneficial to them. It would take, it would, I, I just can't imagine, it would probably take us two, three years to acquire the information that we just got from you in this short period of time. I, I am, I'm yeah. guilty of it, and I know it, I don't mean to be, but sometimes I'm kind of asking my guests to drink through a fire hose because I fire off too much information. <laughs> but, I mean, you can't, you, you can't live in, uh, in these countries for 30, now it's 37 or 38 years. Mm. Oh, my God, I'm dating myself. Mm. But without learning something, Rob, right? right and right. I, I don't mean to sometimes just give out so much fact. Uh, I know it's overwhelming at times, but I, I just mean it in a way that I want to get people that are serious about coming to our neck of the woods informed mm -hmm. of the goods and the bads. Right. I, I mean, I'm, I, I know I'm not guilty of sugarcoating. No. You ask about crime, you no. asked about this, you no. have many other couples, uh, particularly ones with kids, they ask about drug problems. Mm -hmm. And I just, I, I don't sugarcoat it. I mm -hmm. just tell it like it is, you know, but... Mm -hmm. um, I really, really um, look forward to going ahead together with this, mm -hmm. and I, I think you're going here knowing that you got some solid hands in your your team here. Absolutely, that's going to take good care of you and not not yep. hurt you in any any way. And the next step is to get on going with this retirement as soon as possible. Yep, we got a bank account now open. Uh, yep, he's. Now, finally, uh, another American, which America is, uh, it's just, my goodness, everybody should have a foreign bank account. Mm -hmm. We talked about that, and some of the reasons we made uh, made perfect sense. But, my God, whatever country it is, folks, uh, you know, it, it really doesn't matter, but you would want to have a, a, an account in that country. So, immigration is another thing we're, we're going to touch base and get started on soon enough. And, uh, actually, with the... Uh, uh, there was another couple that was just doing that too and uh, one more that's coming back for a second visit at the end of February they were also a, a couple of Jackie and you, know, you would have liked them a lot mm. and so the community's growing um, I had a great week I, I really don't know what else to say other than thank you for allowing us to become a part of your life well thanks for being there I'm, just, I'm, I'm glad we found you glad we found you <laughs> come see Come see Barry and the crew. They'll take care of you. Uh, thank you so <laughs> They'll much. They'll tell you and, everything you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And, and uh, like I say, now the doing just begins, you know. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, it's a pleasure for people like yourselves. And I, I uh, can't wait to be seeing you mm -hmm. again. Thanks a lot for your few minutes right. to help us out. No you problem. never know who you're helping. Right. We've had people just see these videos. And, of course, you would never know who they are. And I didn't. Right. I, I saw that. And, I, and you never know whose life you might change. Yeah. So yeah. that's a very positive frequency. Yep. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Till next time, Barry and DR. <laughs> Bye.